Breaking news from Blue Origin's latest launch. On February 4th, Jeff Bezos' space company achieved what seemed like a perfect launch of their New Shepard rocket. The company proudly shared stunning footage across social media, the graceful liftoff, the precise separation, and the impressive landing. But eagle-eyed space enthusiasts noticed something peculiar. Crucial moments were mysteriously missing from the highlight reel. As the dust settled in the West Texas desert that day, Blue Origin's 29th mission had indeed made history, but not entirely in the way they'd planned. Their new Shepard spacecraft had successfully completed its most ambitious feat yet, spinning at unprecedented speeds to simulate lunar gravity. Yet beneath this triumph lay an untold story. You see, while Blue Origin celebrated their achievement, they quietly omitted a significant detail from their public presentations. During the landing phase, one of the capsule's main parachutes encountered difficulties, a critical moment that was conspicuously absent from their official video recap. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on this launch, exploring not just what was shown, but more importantly, what wasn't. We'll analyze the technical challenges, compare this to similar incidents across the space industry, and examine why transparency in space exploration matters more than ever. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the unfiltered truth about the latest developments in space exploration. Let's dive right in. Dawn breaks over the desolate expanse of West Texas. In the control room, engineers exchange knowing glances, the weight of a week's delay heavy on their shoulders. The January 28th launch attempt had ended in frustration, avionics issues forcing them to stand down. But today, February 4th, feels different. There's electricity in the air, a sense that history is about to be made. For Sarah Martinez, Blue Origin's lead flight controller, this mission is personal. She spent countless nights perfecting the unprecedented maneuver they're about to attempt. Every launch is a chance to push boundaries, she would later tell her team. But this one, this one's special. The pre-dawn silence shatters as New Shepard's BE-3 engine roars to life. The rocket rises majestically through the crisp morning air, carrying not just payloads, but dreams. In the control room, heartbeats quicken. They've done this 28 times before, but space never gets routine. Each launch carries its own risks, its own moments of heart-stopping anticipation. Dave Limp, Blue Origin's CEO, watches intently. They're about to attempt something unprecedented, spinning the capsule at rates that would make a fighter pilot dizzy. 22 times faster than usual, he would later post on social media. But numbers don't capture the audacity of what they're attempting. This isn't just about spinning a capsule. It's about recreating lunar gravity conditions in the skies above Texas. Two and a half minutes into flight, right on schedule, the capsule separates from its booster. In mission control, the tension is palpable. This is where the real test begins. The capsule's reaction control thrusters fire, initiating the spin. For the scientists whose experiments are aboard, these next few minutes are worth their weight in gold. But then comes the moment that would later spark controversy across the space community. As the capsule begins its descent, veteran flight engineer Tom Chen notices something on his monitor. One of the three main parachutes isn't deploying as designed. His fingers hover over the emergency protocols, but years of training kick in. The capsule is designed for this. It can land safely with just two chutes. Still, his heart races as he watches the altitude numbers tick down. The landing when it comes is safe, but not perfect. In the jubilant aftermath, as champagne corks pop and congratulations flow, a decision is made that will cast a shadow over the day's achievements. The video recap shared with the world would omit any mention of the parachute anomaly. This wasn't the first time Blue Origin had faced such a decision. Memories of the NS-25 mission in May 2024 were still fresh. Another parachute issue, another choice to maintain silence. But in the rapidly evolving landscape of commercial spaceflight, old approaches to transparency are being questioned. Dr. Emily Richardson, a veteran of NASA's parachute development program, puts it in perspective. Space exploration has always been about managing risk, but it's also about learning from our challenges. When we hide these learning opportunities, we rob the entire industry of valuable insights. The contrast with other companies is striking. 
When SpaceX faced their own parachute drama during the Crew-2 mission, they took a different path. As Dragon Capsule Endeavor hung beneath three fully deployed chutes and one lagging behind, SpaceX's mission control provided real-time updates. Those 75 seconds of uncertainty became a masterclass in transparent communication. Beyond the controversy lies a story of remarkable achievement. Among the 30 payloads aboard was Dr. James Wong's electrostatic dust lofting project. Moon dust isn't just dirt, Wong explains, his eyes lighting up as he describes the challenge. When sunlight hits it, it becomes electrically charged, literally floating above the surface. It's beautiful, but it's also one of our biggest obstacles to lunar habitation. The dust investigation shares space with another groundbreaking study, the Lunar G Combustion Investigation. Dr. Maria Patel, the project's lead researcher, has spent her career studying how fire behaves in different gravity conditions. Every time we light a match on Earth, we take gravity for granted, she says. On the moon, everything changes. Understanding these changes could mean the difference between life and death for future lunar inhabitants. In a corner of the capsule, a cluster of postcards from Club for the Future carries messages from Earth's next generation of explorers. 10-year-old Amy Chen's note reads, Dear Moon, I'm coming to visit someday. It's a poignant reminder of why transparency in spaceflight matters. These children's dreams deserve to be built on a foundation of trust. The mission also carried Honeybee Robotics' suite of lunar regolith experiments. Project manager David Kumar describes the challenge. Lunar soil is like nothing on Earth. It's sharp as glass, fine as powder, and behaves in ways that still surprise us. Every test we run brings us closer to building sustainable lunar infrastructure. JPL's FORGE experiment, tucked safely in its berth, represents humanity's reach beyond the moon. Dr. Sarah O'Connor, the project's principal investigator, dreams of ocean worlds. When we're testing fluid dynamics in microgravity, we're not just thinking about the moon. We're thinking about Europa, about Enceladus, worlds where liquid water might harbor the secrets of extraterrestrial life. Purdue University's contribution, the film of Apparition MMTS Tunable Array, might seem modest in size, but its implications are enormous. Graduate student Michael Chang spent three years developing this water-based propulsion system. Every drop of water we can use for propulsion is one less drop we need to launch from Earth, he explains. It's about making space exploration sustainable. The legacy of this mission extends beyond its technical achievements. New Shepard's namesake, Alan Shepard, once stood at the dawn of human spaceflight. His suborbital hop on Freedom 7 lasted just 15 minutes but it opened the door to everything that followed. Now, 60 years later, his spiritual successor carries forward that legacy of exploration. Since its first uncrewed flight in 2015, New Shepard has evolved dramatically. The NS-16 mission in July 2021 wasn't just historic for carrying Jeff Bezos. It was a symbol of how far commercial spaceflight had come. Wally Funk, who had trained as an astronaut in the 1960s but never got her chance to fly, finally reached space at age 82. Her joy upon landing was infectious. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Most recently, space educator Emily Calandrelli's flight showcased another aspect of commercial spaceflight, its power to inspire. As she floated in zero gravity, broadcasting to millions of followers, she demonstrated that space is no longer the exclusive domain of test pilots and government agencies. But with this democratization of space comes increased responsibility. The parachute anomaly on NS-29, while handled safely by backup systems, raises important questions about industry practices. Dr. Robert Martinez, a safety systems expert, offers perspective. Redundancy in critical systems isn't just good engineering. It's an acknowledgement that space is hard. The real test of a company isn't whether they face challenges, but how they handle them. The contrast in approaches to transparency reflects a deeper industry divide. SpaceX's recent string of successful Dragon landings didn't happen by accident. They were the result of rigorous testing and open problem solving. Each delayed parachute, each less than perfect deployment, became a learning opportunity shared across the industry. Looking forward, the implications of NS-29 extend far beyond a single flight. As we stand on the brink of regular lunar missions, of hotels in orbit and bases on the moon, 
The standards we set today will echo for generations. The choice between opacity and transparency isn't just about public relations. It's about the very foundation of commercial spaceflight. For Sarah Martinez, back in mission control, success is measured in more than just technical achievements. As she reviews the flight data, she thinks about Amy Chen's postcard, about the dreams of a new generation. Every time we launch, we're not just testing hardware, she reflects. We're testing ourselves, our values, our commitment to doing this right. The sun sets over West Texas, painting the launch pad in golden light. New Shepard stands silent now, its latest mission complete. But the conversations it sparked continue. In offices and laboratories across the globe, engineers study the data, scientists analyze their experiments, and industry leaders debate the path forward. In the end, the story of NS-29 is more than a tale of spinning capsules and parachute anomalies. It's a reminder that in the quest to commercialize space, our greatest challenges aren't always technical. They're about balance between innovation and safety, between corporate interests and public trust, between the rush to achieve and the need to learn from our setbacks. As we reach for the stars, we carry with us not just technologies and experiments, but responsibilities. To the pioneers who blaze this trail, to the dreamers who will follow, and to every child who looks up at the night sky and whispers, I'm coming someday. We owe our very best, not just in achievement, but in honesty, transparency, and the courage to face our challenges head on. The legacy of NS-29 will be determined not by the speed of its spin or the performance of its parachutes, but by how its lessons shape the future of commercial spaceflight. In the vast expanse of space, there's room for competition, for different approaches and philosophies. But there must also be room for truth, for learning, for the understanding that every setback overcome makes us stronger, every challenge met makes us wiser. As the stars begin to emerge over the Texas desert, they seem to whisper ancient truths. Space exploration has never been about perfection. It's about perseverance, about learning from our mistakes, about getting up after every setback. It's about remembering that every launch, every experiment, every triumph and every challenge brings us one step closer to becoming what we've always dreamed of being, a truly spacefaring civilization. As the sun sets on another milestone in commercial spaceflight, NS-29's legacy leaves us with crucial lessons about the future of space exploration. While Blue Origin achieved groundbreaking lunar gravity simulation and advanced critical moon-focused technologies, their approach to transparency raises important questions for the entire industry. The space race of tomorrow isn't just about reaching new heights, it's about building trust, sharing knowledge, and creating a foundation for humanity's journey to the stars. Each parachute deployment, each spin test, each grain of simulated moon dust brings us closer to our destiny among the stars. We're committed to bringing you the unvarnished truth about space exploration's triumphs and challenges. If you value in-depth coverage of the commercial space industry, join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated on the latest developments. Drop a comment with your thoughts on Blue Origin's approach to transparency and share this video to spread awareness about these crucial industry discussions. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, keeping you informed about the future of space exploration, one launch at a time. Two weeks. And that's all it took for SpaceX to ready itself for another historic launch. While the dust has barely settled from their last mission, where we witnessed the dramatic explosion of the booster during re-entry, the aerospace giant is already prepared to write the next chapter in the Starship story. The journey of Starship has been nothing short of extraordinary. Each launch has pushed the boundaries of what's possible, taking us one step closer to making life multiplanetary. From the first test flight's early termination to the groundbreaking achievements of Flight 5, we've seen this marvel of engineering evolve before our eyes. But it's Flight 7 that really showed us what's at stake. The challenges were unprecedented. Fuel tank complications, engine malfunctions during pre-launch checks, and a separation sequence that tested the limits of both machine and human ingenuity. These weren't just setbacks. 
They were valuable lessons that have shaped the preparations for Flight 8. Now as SpaceX gears up for their next launch, the anticipation is building. Ship 34 has completed its cryogenic testing and received its engines, marking a crucial milestone in the preparation phase. With the upcoming static fire tests and the revolutionary Mechazilla Arms installation at Launch Pad B, 